the very first time, the Democratic Alliance has an opportunity to introduce a DA difference to national government by means of sound policy, clean, accountable governance, and a people-focused governance agenda. Our inclusion in the government of national unity has extended the DA's executive powers and strengthened our legislative cap capability where we can govern better and scrutinize the executive more effectively for the benefit of all South Africans. As part of the GNU, the Democratic Alliance has taken up six cabinet positions, six deputy minister positions, five parliamentary portfolio chairpersons, and three committee chairperson positions. As we embark upon this new role in the highest branch of government, I want to reassure South Africans that the DA remains steadfast in our commitment to our founding values and principles and to the constitution, which remains the existential bedrock of our society. In these new roles, we will demonstrate to South Africans across the country what the DA can do at a national level, given an opportunity to govern. And in Parliament, we will show South Africans how legislatures can and should work as effective oversight bodies that keep the executive in check. In this regard, I've issued an instruction to my parliamentary caucus in Parliament that they must hold DA members of the executive as accountable as they would hold members of other political parties. We need a legislature that is robust, that is happy to exercise proper oversight of executive members and ensure that citizens are getting value for money and accountability from those members of the executive. So while our new role may have evolved, our dedication to the people of South Africa has stayed the same. The DA is still here. We have not changed and we are primed to position ourselves within this new paradigm, we will offer a unique vision for South Africa and the future of our country.